Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 156 in the series of basic math. Today we'll, we'll solve a ratio and, ratio and proportion problem. Ratio and proportion problem the 16th one in a series of 20. Let's take a look at the problem. We are told that we have four people, A, B, C, D. They worked on a project. Four of these people, they worked on a project. We are told that they put in, they put in the hours in the ratio of three to four to five to six. We are further told that one person worked a total of 60 hours. We are told that one person worked a total of 60 hours. We do not know who, but one of these four people worked 60 hours, we are told. The question simply is, based on that fact that one person works 60 hours, which of the following, which of the following could, which of the following could not, could not be the total number of hours worked? And these are the choices, 180, 3, 216, 270, 324 and 360. What I would like you to do right now is to pause the video, solve the problem yourself, and once you have the answer, once you have solved it yourself, then you can compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. If you have trouble solving this problem, then it might help you. It might help you to go back and watch. If it if it if it gives you trouble, it might help to go back and watch the 129 and 130 first. Watch these two videos. We, we learned the concept, we learned the met methodology in these two videos, it will help you. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be quiet now, I'm going to get out of your way, I'll give you five seconds for you, to, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Alright, so these are the answer choices, the first one is 180. The very first thing you need to understand is that they work in the out in the ratio in, in the ratio of three to four to five to six. The total number of parts here, four plus four plus six is ten, and three plus five is eight, so his total parts is eighteen. Total parts is eighteen. The first answer choice that they give us, the first answer choice that they give us, answer choice A, is one eighty. It is one eighty. If if the total number of hours, if it turns out that the total number of hours worked by these four people happens to be 180, and the, given the fact that the total parts, when we add them up 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, it adds up to 18, if they work 180 hours, that means each part is worth 10 hours. Each part is worth 10 hours. Because 180 equals 18 times 10. Each part is worth 10 hours. 18 is the total number of parts. This is the total parts. And each part is worth 10 hours. And here we have A, B, C, and D. Well, let's, let's tell you what. It's, this is going to get confusing because we have answer choice A, B, C, D. Let's not call these people A, B, C, D. Let's call them, let's give them a different name so that we don't confuse with the answer choices. Let's call them P, Q, R, and S. Four people, P, Q, R, and S. Let's call them P, Q, R, S. So if each part is worth 10 hours, one person has worked 60 hours, we are told. One person has worked 60 hours. And since they are in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, they are in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. And since each part is worth 10 hours, that tells us that it is, it is, it is person S. It is person S that works 60 hours. So that is possible. It is possible for them to have worked 180 hours. That is quite possible. Let's move on. Answer to B says 216. 216. Well, first we have to figure out if 216, if 216 is a nice multiple of 18. In other words, we have to divide 216 by 18. Let's do it here. 216, we're going to divide it by 18. Let's see what happens. Okay, stay with me, stay with me in the story. How many 18 does 2 have? 2 has no 18. 2 has no 18. The 2 is going to go and join the 1, becomes 21. How many 18 does 21 have? 21 has 118. 21 has 118. With the remainder of three, that three goes and joins the three. That three goes and joins the six, becomes thirty-six, and thirty-six has two eighteens. Thirty-six has two eighteens. So that tells us that if total number of hours they work happens to be two hundred and sixteen, 
then each part, each part is worth 12 hours. 12 times 18, 12 times 18, or 18 times 12, 18 times 12 would give us 216. Each part is worth 12 hours. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little bit of speed here. We, we know that one person works 60 hours. Well, that will be R, because R, R is five parts, each part is worth 12 hours. So that is also possible. In this case, R has worked 12 hours. This is a scenario where R has worked 12 hours. Let's put it here. This is a scenario where, this is a scenario where R has worked 12 hours. The first scenario was where S has worked 12 hours. Let's look at answer choice C. Answer choice C says 270. Let's divide 270 by 18. 270 by 18. How many 18 in the 2? 2 has no 18. That 2 goes and joins the 7, becomes 27. 27 has 118. Once you take away 18 from 27, we have a remainder of 9. 9 goes and joins the 0, becomes 90. And 90 has 518. How do we know that 90 has 518? Okay, you have to stay within the story. The 9, after you take away 18 from 27, we have a remainder of 9. That 9 goes and joins the 0, becomes 90. And how do we know that 90 has 518? Because 18 times 10 is 180. If 18 times 10 is 180, then it stands to reason that 18 times 5 must be 90, half of 180. So which means each part is worth 15. Let's see what happens. Each part now is worth 15. Because 18 times 15, because 18 times 15 is going to give us 270. Well, in that case, what, it, what that means is that in that case P, in that case P must have worked 3 times 15. Q Q must have worked 4 times 15. Oh, there you go, 4 times 15. Well, actually, that does work, 4 times 15. There you go, that's the one we're looking for. It is, it is the Q that has worked 60 hours because 4 times 50 is 60. 4 times, 4 times 50, 4 times 15 is 60. We are told that one person works 60 hours. For one brief second, I thought C was going to be the right answer. C is not the right answer. It is possible, it is possible, given the fact that these people worked in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, and given the fact that one person has worked 60 hours, we are told, it is possible that these people together may have worked a total of 270 hours. It is possible. And in that case, it is the person Q who worked, it is the person Q who has worked 60 hours. Let's look at answer choice D. Answer choice D says 324. 324. We have to divide 324 by 18. Let's do it here. 324 by 18. This is going to get a little tricky, okay? Pay attention here. 32, 32 has 118, 32 has 118, after we take away 18 from 32, after we take away 18 from 32, what are we left with? 32 minus 20, 32 minus 20 would have been 12, so it is going to be 14, 14 and 4, it becomes 144, 144, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the nitty gritty right now, I'm just going to tell you what the answer is, it's 144. Doing it this way actually is going to be more complicated. Let's just do it out. We, we're trying to figure out 324 is what multiple of 18. If you know your squares, you're done in a second. If you know your squares, you're done in a second. It is in fact 18 times 18. It is in fact 18 times 18. 8 is a 64, carry 6. 8, 6, 8 ones are 8, and 6 is uh, 14, and then 18. And you will see that it is 324. 18 squared is 324, which means, which means that each part in this scenario, each part is worth 18 hours. In this scenario, each part is worth 18 hours. Well, let's carry, let's carry on. This is taking way too long um, because I have a tendency to explain everything. And you can clearly see here what's going to happen is that this, if if it turns out that the total number of hours they work is 324, and given the fact that they work in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, which means p, which means p must have worked 3 times 18. Q must have worked 4 times 18, R must have worked 5 times 18, and S must have worked 6 times 18. As you can see, in this scenario, in this scenario, nobody, nobody has worked, nobody has worked 60 hours. Nobody has worked 60 hours, no person. But we are told that one person works 60 hours. This is not possible. It is not possible, it is not possible for the total number of hours to have been 324, given the fact that one person we are told has worked 60 hours and they all worked in a ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. 324 is not possible. 
360 is going to be possible, I'm going to show you very quickly. 360, 360 is essentially, is essentially 18 times 20, 18 times 20, and that's possible, in which case it's going to be P, because it's 3 times 20. This one would be 3 times 20, which is, which is person P. So answer choice is E is possible, in that scenario it is P who has worked 60 hours. Answer choice C is possible, which, in which case it is person Q who has worked 60 hours. B is possible, in which case it is person R who has worked 60 hours. And in answer choice A, S has worked 60 hours. But answer choice D is not possible because nobody has worked hours. None of these numbers, 3 times 18, 4 times 18, 5 times 18, 6 times 18, none of these numbers give us 60. And yet we are told that one person did work 60 hours and therefore it is impossible for that to have been the total number of hours worked by these four people. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.